using the Verify tool in Main. Uh, if we tap into Main and under the drop down arrow here, there is access to a whole load of applications, including Verify, which is this one in the very bottom right corner. And if we tap this, uh, it's uh, well, let's show you how it works. So suppose we want to simplify the square root of 45 for an example. So we tap in root 45 and tap execute. And suppose we think this will simplify to root 5 times root 9. So we'll tap in root 5, tap out to the edge and put in another root, root 9. Now when I tap execute, notice we get a very quick smiley face appear there to say we're on the right track and so we can carry on. If um, I'd made a mistake and I'd put something like uh, root 4 maybe times root 9 there and tapped execute, you can see ClassPad is quick to tell us we're not on the right path at all and it, um, we can't carry on until we've noticed and said OK that that's not a, an equivalent. So let's go back to changing it to root 5 and maybe we can finish off by saying well it's um, 3 root 5 because the square root of 9 is 3 and tap execute and our work is done we can't really simplify that much more now I'm just going to close the application and take a copy of um, this circle here edit copy and start it up again by tapping on f of x here so I'm going to paste this one in edit paste and this is the equation of a circle and I want to uh, find its um, center and radius now uh, the way Verify works, it can't uh, work with equations, so I need to turn this uh, into just an expression. So I've subtracted 11, and when we're finished, remember we've got to um, take that over the other side. So we'll tap Execute, and ClassPad tidies up what we've put in. So I guess our first thing is to say, well, let's, uh, let's get the x squared and the x term next to each other, plus 2x. Uh, plus y squared, here we go, y squared minus 4y, and we've got the minus 11 tagging at the end, so ClassPad shouldn't complain about that. It says, nah, it's a good move, Charlie. And then we go to complete the square on our first two terms, so we need a set of brackets, here we go, and inside there we'll go x plus 1, uh, and out of there we want that squared, and then to correct that, we need to subtract 1 squared, which would be 1. And then let's move on and do the y term. So inside our bracket will be y. Uh, and what have we got? y minus 4. So that'll be halved, y minus 2. And we want to square that. So we'll pop a 2 up there. And then subtract the 4 squared, uh, which the 2 squared, which is 4. And then subtract 11. So with a bit of luck we're on the right track here execute we're doing good work now i'm going to cut and paste this down to on this line and tidy it up so let's get rid of the negative one there so we've got our center at negative one positive two what's left at the end we've got minus one minus four minus eleven which is minus fifteen minus sixteen how are we doing it's good and of course that's the radius squared so if we copy this down one more line and say well that'll be minus 4 squared tap execute our work is done we've discovered the center of the circle is at negative 1 positive 2 and it's got a radius of 4 and of course if we would made a mistake anywhere in there we would have got the uh, unhappy face